Hello, I'm Erin Palmer, Team Racine Productions co-host and moderator. Hi everyone, it's me, Krillius, Team Racine Productions co-host and moderator. Joining us is Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so uh, much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It is great to see you again, Anthony. And before we get into everything about the On Cage Film Festival, please tell the viewers a little bit about who you are and what you do. All right, sure. So I am Anthony Green. I am a writer and director, but I'm also the founder of Cage Burst Productions. So at Cage Burst Productions, we affirm Black queer lived experiences on stage and on screen. Uh, we're most known for our male version of Waiting to Exhale, which is uh, When Boys Exhale. Certainly, certainly. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Anthony, please tell us all about what's happening on March 4th. All right, so March 4th is a very special day. We're having our Uncaged Film Festival. Um, it is in place to celebrate uh, Black queer filmmakers who uh, operate on smaller budgets. There are um, a lot of us out here and we want to find a space where we can all come together and um, showcase our work. Uh, Cage Burst just completed a film, short film called Faux Flowers that we're ex excited to debut there. Um, and along with ours, we have curated a bunch of films from animation to musicals that all look at Black queer life. Um, there's this really amazing documentary on um, masculine lesbian women who raise children. There's um, another really interesting um, doc about trans people who find joy through their love of dance, dance revolution, and um, so on. I'm excited to invite local community leaders to come sit down and um, impact all the great issues that these films bring up together as a community. Um, we're also in, inviting some local Black and or queer uh, businesses and art vendors to come in and participate and just make this a uh, real celebration of us. Amazing, amazing. And where can people um, find, you know, come out and celebrate this wonderful event with you? All right, so we're going to be at the Anacostia Art Center on March 4th. Tickets are on sale via Eventbrite. I think we only have like three tickets left. So if you want to, you want to jump on it because we're about to sell out. Um, so if you go to Eventbrite, keyword Uncaged Film Festival. Beautiful. Awesome. And uh, just a question. Do you, are you going to have any of the uh, writers, directors, actors, or any of those people in the room um, on in March? Absolutely. We will have quite a few. Uh, not everyone is like locally based, but uh, we will have quite a few there to discuss the work. Anthony, what time is the event? Just so people can make sure that they can be there on the right date and time if they're able to get tickets. All right, so uh, doors open at 6 p.m. We'll have our uh, nice little red carpet, and then we'll actually start screening at about 6.30. I love the Anacostia Art Center. It's a really wonderful venue. I hope that folks are able to go out and join you. Can you tell us a little bit more about how films were selected for screening? Great, 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 great question. Um, so I was looking for a real like diversity of um, Black queer life. I want to make sure it wasn't a bunch of cisgendered uh, gay men um, focused films. So um, we really, really like hit the, the whole spectrum of uh, representation um, that I'm really just so thrilled to um, even be able to have discussions about because a lot of the topics that are in these films are not stuff that I've like typically seen in Black queer film there. I usually see a lot of our like trauma, but um, the stuff that we curated uh, kind of focuses a lot on our, our joy and what makes us great, so. Amazing. That is so good. That is so amazing. And um, I'm so glad that tickets are selling well, that there are only three left. That is really amazing. And, you know, thank you so much for the work that you're doing in, you know, getting Black stories out, allowing people to see these beautiful queer Black stories on screen, on stage, and all over. So 
This is really, really great. And I know that uh, it's going to be hosted by our friends at Black Gay Stuck at Home. That is really, really exciting. Uh, how did you guys come together to make this happen? Okay, so uh, Michael and Joshua have been friends of Cage Birds Productions for a while. Um, they did a wonderful uh, virtual screening of our um, horror film, um, was it the Souls of Black Pebbles? Mm -hmm. And since then, uh, we just always try to support each other whenever we can. And they have been like instrumental in helping me to like connect with some of the, the filmmakers who are gonna be featured in this festival. And nobody knows Black horse cinema like them. So I'm excited to see them like host and moderate these discussion panels. Amazing, amazing. And uh, to the viewers, if you want to know more about Black Gay Stuck at Home, you can find them on Facebook at Black Gay Stuck at Home, Twitter at underscore BGSAH, Instagram at underscore BGSAH. And you can just go to www.bgsah.com. And they have a bi-weekly virtual film series. There's always something to see. There's always something to discuss. So go ahead and get into that. Uh, Anthony, please tell our viewers how they can learn more about you and what's upcoming with Cage Birds Production. All right, so the best place to find out about us is at our Instagram. It is at Caged Birds Productions, or you can follow us on Facebook at Caged Birds Productions. Um, what do we have upcoming? So in July, we're going to be doing our male version of Waiting to Exhale When Boys Exhale. It's going to be going to Houston, Texas, um, the weekend of July 7th and 8th. And then in August, um, August 4th through the 5th, we're going to be doing a brand new show here in D.C. It's going to be called uh, Gay Love Jones, which is mm. our, uh, <laughs> our gay version of Love Jones, which will uh, celebrate uh, queer love and D.C. and poetry that we're really excited to be sharing with you all amazing amazing well thank you so much for joining us today to our viewers the links are in the description so go ahead and check that out anthony thank you for joining us thank y'all for having me To those watching, please follow Team Racine on social media. And click around our YouTube channel, check out our other interviews, vlogs, forums, and more. And while you're there, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, viewers, thank you for watching.